Yo, what's going on YouTube? I am back with another video, as you can tell. In this video, I cut my little brother's hair. He, uh, he dyed it, well my sister dyed it for him and then he retouched it himself to make it more of like an ashier type of gray, silverish thing, hair. Hey, hey, stop that! My dog right here, she's over here biting things like you should it. <laughs> I, I did a mid fade. Uh, I textured this top, cut about an inch to a half an inch off the top, and um, it came out very nice. Um, there's still a little dark spots, so it kind of looked a little. Uh, some areas look darker than the others. So, uh, but it still came out clean. I didn't even line up the front. I just lined up the sides. Gave him a little eyebrow slash. Bada bing, bada boom. But I do want to talk to you guys about is the giveaway. Um, I know a lot of you guys want to get into the giveaway and that is so great because uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing it yet again you guys. So um, probably within my next few videos I'll let you guys know. Like, comment, subscribe. The magic clips are still the giveaway prize. So again, stay tuned. I'm out. What's going on YouTube? I'm back um, with another video, you guys. <laughs> As you guys can see that his hair is uh, very long all around. So um, I'm just putting water in his hair just to kind of uh, even it all out. I wanna see what I'm working with and also I'm gonna go in with my shears and um, even it all out. So I don't know if I mentioned this in my intro, but this is my little brother. He's handsome, just like me. <laughs> Psych. Uh, so I'm about cutting about an inch, maybe a little bit less than an inch off the top. About an inch. Uh, I, I, well, yeah, about an inch, you guys. Um, I'm eventually going to come in with uh, the texture it later on, uh, kind of in a little bit. Uh, I'm not really the best at shear work. I learned from the best, you know, obviously the ones in my shop, Jorge, Jay Cepeda the Barber, and Amem the Barber. They're great with shear work, and I learned a lot from them with shear work. But um, I'm gonna be texturing it in a second. Just uh, stay tuned, you guys. So what I believe I am doing right here, I'm pretty sure it's called cross cutting. I'm not really cutting all the way. I'm kind of just cutting it a little bit across or cross grain uh, because basically it's going to kind of uh, give it a um, texture look. So I'm not cutting the whole hair. Like I said before, I'm just cutting bits and pieces of it and going lower and lower and lower as I go from the, from the cowlick down towards the middle or the front of the head. So I'm not cutting all of it, as you guys can't see right there, I'm just cutting slightly of, like slightly the hair. Um, like I said, I'm not the best at this, so this is new to me. Well, to record a video, is this is new for me to record a video of me doing texture tops because I never do it before. So bear with me, you guys. So uh, you guys are gonna have to learn a lot. It, it is called cross cutting, I believe. So just make sure you don't cut everything off. Just, or I mean, it's basically you can kind of use a, uh, thinning shears it's basically the same thing i just don't have my thinning shears on me at the moment so you can use thinning shears as well so i'm gonna be using um i don't know what this texture powder is called but i'm gonna be using texture powder to texture his hair what you want to do is you want to apply lightly. I'm not really applying lightly right here. I kind of getting it on his eyebrows. You want to apply lightly on the head and kind of just mess it up. That's basically what you could do. Um, just mess it all up. It's called a messy crop, messy texture top. So just mess it all up, you guys. On 
to the fading. I'm using my one and a half guard to take off the bulk on the side. I know you guys can see that it is kind of like really blonde on the side. I mean, it's really, we did that on purpose because um, we know his hair is not gonna be, we're not, he's not gonna leave his hair like that. So we're just, we didn't want to focus on the side because it's gonna get blended out eventually. So yeah, we're doing a one and a half on the side to take off the bulk. Uh, his hair is gonna be really light on the side because he did dye it. So um, guy lines aren't really gonna be um, that hard. It's just gonna be very light. So if you guys can see it, um, I'm try to, I'll try to point it out as much as I can. But uh, at this moment, I am doing a one and a half uh, on the side just so I can uh, take off the bulk so I can see my guy lines or try to see my guy lines on this particular haircut. this part we are gonna be using our balders to set in the guide or the bald line of course uh, we're using our uh, babyless pro T outliners or liners however you want to call it to set in that bald line it is making a line right there so you guys can see that which is good um, just follow these steps make sure that the ball line is straight go around the entire head straight make sure it all is even and uh, we're doing a mid fade so we are eliminating the hair on the side so we're not going to be doing a hook so we're going to be fading all that out so just make sure that um, you uh, ball that out as well especially on a mid fade So to set in that first guideline, we are using our magic clips. I know my magic clips are a little different, but I have a case on them. The description on how to get them will be down below. So I have my lever all the way open and I'm setting my first guideline about an inch to a half an inch. Uh, yeah, about an inch wide because uh, I am gonna be doing it, um, Kind of, I'm kind of be doing like a mid-high fade. Okay, I didn't, I'm not, not a mid-fade, like a mid-high fade. So uh, make sure that the guy line is straight and you guys can see a little bit of the guy line, which is good as well, uh, because I wanna be able to let you guys know what I am cutting. Uh, because his hair is only one color on the side, it is gonna be hard to see the contrast of the haircut, especially for the, the guy lines, because like again, his hair is dyed on the side, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. So I closed it up just a tad or all the way. I closed it all the way to take out that bottom line. Uh, then I go halfway, then open. I know you see right there on the right where I'm cutting at, you can see that it is a line. It is not a line, it is a vein. So um, it might look like a line right there, you guys. Uh, so sometimes like when I first started cutting hair, um, I seen that before I, on my brother's hair. I was like, is that a line or not? But then you realize it's a vein. So you really can't do anything about it. Just try it as best as you can to fade that out. As, fade, not the vein, but fade the, the hair and um, just, just work around it you guys because it's not gonna affect the haircut it just looks like a line because of the vein so i am picking at it because i realized i was like forgot it was a vein on this next part we are going to be using our number one guard to um, set another guy line um it's not really making a hard line because we did do a one and a half on top to take off the bulk so it's not really going to make a big difference what i'm doing right now so technically basically what i am doing i'm just fading it up um this really not going to make a big difference because it, it is a one blending it into a one and a half so really nothing um we're going to come in eventually with our zero guard to blend out the rest of uh, the hair but at this moment it kind of like as you can see right here it's kind of already faded but i want to go through the steps with you guys and uh let you guys know how i fade and uh, hopefully it'll teach you guys 
how to fade uh, not only this hair but another or every other hair. So we're gonna be using our zero guard here and I, you guys see that what I'm pointing at, that is the line. Um, I could barely see it when I was cutting hair but from this angle when I'm looking at recording, um, I could see it. You can't really see it from my angle because I was up close but when you see it from a different angle, it's there. So I am closing the guard or the lever all the way closed and then I go halfway then open. You make sure you use the corners um, on fading or tapering because um, you're more precise with the cut or everything else. And brush down a lot you guys, you always want to brush that hair out the way so you can see what you're cutting. So in this next step, we have our clipper comb right here. Um, and we're just gonna, all the hair that you see that's there, just cut it. I'm going straight up at an angle, just straight up. I don't want to cut the hair on top, so I am going at a straight angle kind of to shape it. I like shaping the haircuts and every cut because I feel like it makes the cut look a hundred times better. Because, I mean, you want to shape the hair to the face shape of the person and also you just want to shape it just so it just gives that that extra touch some barbers they don't do it which i mean to each his own but for me i always do it um you want to make sure that um i, I got stuck on this head right there all the texture powder but so i'm, I'm just uh, getting every little strand of hair i kind of want it all even so i'm just doing the clipper of comb method i um I don't know what clipper of a comb this is, but when I do find out, I will put it in the description. So we're not really lining up the top, we're just going to be lining up the sides. Uh, so no enhancement in this video. Um, so just line up the sides on each corner, that's really nothing spectacular. So just make sure that the, um, the lineup is just nice and clean. It doesn't really have to be sharp, um, just nice and clean you guys. To finish the haircut off, we are going to be doing an eyebrow slash. Um, my brother wanted it, so why not? But my video is wrapped up, you guys. Um, I thank you so much for watching my YouTube. If you guys don't follow me, my Instagram is at the top left. Like, comment, subscribe. And um, till next time, you guys, I'm out.